Hey there, YouTubers. Thanks for tuning in. This is Dan Strong with Excel VBA is Fun. And this uh, webisode, or whatever you want to call it, we're going to talk about Ernesto had an issue. He sent me a, uh, a question on Facebook, and he said, I'd like to be able to loop through every single row. And, excuse me, he'd like to loop through every single row. And, basically, if the date is three weeks old or later, he'd like to hide the row just like that just like I did there but he'd like for the macro to automatically do that so let's unhide that and we'll go through this procedure let's hit alt F11 to get into the visual basic editor that's alt F11 let's go ahead and create a new module for our current book here book one I haven't named it yet so in order to create a new macro we're gonna just start with sub and we're gonna give it a name we're gonna say um, how about uh, three weeks hide? We'll call this one. Oops, don't start that with a with a letter or a number. How about weeks three hide or something like that? There we go. So it's called weeks three hide. And what we're going to start out with is um, it's going to be on sheet one. Uh, let's go ahead and declare ws as our as a worksheet and then we'll give it a name. We'll set up WS to equal to this workbook's own sheet that is called Sheet 1. If we had a different name, you'd type that name right here, like blah or hello there, or something, whatever you called the sheet. Uh, so yeah, so that's what we're gonna set the WS to equal. You could have WS be whatever, but you just make it uniform to whatever you declared. So now we've got WS set up as this particular sheet, and whenever you hit WS period, it brings up all your menu options. If we had named it something else, then whatever something else period would have brought up the menu. Next thing up is we're going to get the last row. So uh, the last row for that, we're going to um, we're going to push into this variable called WSLR. LR just reminds me it's the last row. It's a variable that I'm going to shove the last row in. And that's going to be our standards from row 2 to whatever WSLR is at the moment. In this case, it'll be 8, row 8, until that grows or shrinks. So WSLR equals the sheet WS dot cells. And we're going to get the rows, the, the count of all the rows in column one going all the way up to the end going upwards and we're going to grab the row and uh, that's a little complicated but you need to memorize this string here it's the most awesome thing you can memorize for starting out so and then we're going to say for x is going to be equal to uh, equals two all the way to whatever the last row is and that could be a variable so it changes it varies and then, you, of course, you put your next x. So now you have a loop. It goes from 2, then 3, and then 4, and then 5, and then 6, and loops, and loops, and loops, until there is no more next x's, because you get to 8, and then there's nothing else. And then it goes and moves on. So x is 2 to 8 in this case. And we're going to analyze each date. So analyze date. See if it's 3 weeks or older. So if uh, WS, that's the sheet we're looking at, dot cells, and we're going to look at uh, row X and uh, column 1 because it's going to be X is going to be 2 and then it's going to move on to here and column 1 is what we want to look at. If that cell right there is, I'm going to, I'm wanting to say less than or equal to uh, today. Let's do today. Uh, date. Sorry. Uh, the system has a built-in variable called date, and that equals today's date always. So that's a built-in variable. Sorry, I blanked out there for a second. In a cell, it's equals today. Open parentheses, close parentheses. But in VBA, you can just type the word date, and um, so if whatever's in the current cell we're focusing on is is less than or equal to today's date minus what 20 21 minus 21 is 3 it would be 3 weeks then 
So if it is that old, then hide. So we're going to say rows, uh, ws dot rows, and uh, whatever what row are we focusing on? Well, whatever row x is at the current moment. So it might be two, it might be whatever. Then that row, uh, rows x in parentheses dot hide. That should do it. If it doesn't, don't punch me in the face because we'll work through this. All right. So let's just see what happens. Um, let's go through each row and analyze it, okay? Here we go. Uh, and if you're hiding rows as you go, I wonder, does that change the row number? I don't think it does. I don't think it does. So let's go ahead and debug through this. First off, I'm going to save this workbook before I do anything else. That way, if there's any errors or something, we're going to call this one hide rows if date older than three weeks yeah and this will be available for download for free because I'm putting it into my shared workbooks folder in my Dropbox the link is in the video description it's called hide rows if date older than three weeks dot xlsm it is now available for download even before I edit and publish this video so you may see it if you are a subscriber to my Dropbox account or uh, folder. Anyway, let's debug through. Maybe I made a boo boo, maybe not. Maybe it'll work. All right, here's the last row is row eight. So we're going to go from two all the way to eight. So here's the first one. X is two. So the date is uh, from from column one in row X, row two. So that is 12 26 2013. So is that less than or equal to today's date minus 21? Because if it is older or equal to three weeks ago, then we're going to hide that row. And it looks like it is older than three weeks ago. So ws.rows x row two, basically, we want to hide. Let's see if that is the right syntax for hiding the row. I'm not sure. Let's hit F8. It is not. Piece of poop. All right. Well, had to try, right? Um, let's see here. Back to the drawing board, right? In row. Okay, we might be able to get by with this range. Um, uh, X. Let's see, that might not be right. Dot entire row. Dot entire row dot hidden shoey sounds like a mouthful might not work either no that's probably not gonna work let's see how did we do this fine you're gonna be a jerk about it how about let's do the range of a how about a so this would be a Two dot entire row. Okay, that might work. So you put uh, ws dot range, and you're going to say a. Just picking a column out of a hat here. A and two. So a two dot entire row dot hidden equals true. Let's see if that works. Uh, hey, look at there. It's hidden. Sweet. So it's a little workaround for my little mishap there. Now the next date is 1-11-2014. Is that more than three weeks old? Uh, yeah, I'm thinking most of these are. So yeah, that one's hidden. Next one, uh, 125. See, today's date, and the day that I'm recording is February 9th, so uh, most of these will not be that old. Let's see. 125, is that uh, less than or equal to... 21 days from today's date? No, no, it's not three weeks ago. Um, January 1st is more than three weeks ago, so that one's going. And 2-1 is certainly not three weeks ago. It's like eight days ago. So don't hide that one. And 2-8 is yesterday. Do not hide it. And uh, what else? Oh, it's going all the way to uh, row 8, excuse me, 110. Yes, hide that one. And bada bing. Cool, so it worked. 
So these are the only current records that you're needing to deal with. Let's unhide all that stuff again. Right click, unhide, and let's run our little happy little macro again. Um, let's run it a little quicker and let's just let it do its thing. So let's see. Alt F8, well, it's a shortcut to get into our macros, but that looks a little busy, right? Let's just do this workbook only. Well, look, there's the only one we need to worry about. Weeks 3 hide. So I'm going to run it. Boom. And there's the current records we need to worry about. Now, one step further, I think it would be prudent to, let's unhide these. Let's put a button. You don't want to put a button on a, on a row that potentially is going to be hidden. So let's uh, put one maybe on the top row, make it real small or something. Let's go to the shapes and we'll make a button that fits neatly into cell C, C1. And we'll say click. And let's see here, middle, middle. Click me. Uh oh. Click me. Cool. There's our button right click on the button assign a macro hey how about this one called weeks three hide gee that's a great idea Dan thanks I know that's my idea I just you're talking to yourself all right well whatever so I'm gonna save this and um, now that we're no longer in design mode we're not in design mode I can click on my little button here and it will run my code and I'll analyze anything uh, three weeks or older so click Great. Now let's click it again. It'll go from row uh, 2 to maybe 2 to 8, maybe 4 to 7. I don't really know. Click it again. There's nothing to hide, so it's processing. But that's basically it. Boom. Love it. All right, so that's how to work that. I'm going to unhide these, and I promise I won't click it again. Unhiding these, now I'm going to let you click it. I'm going to let you debug through it because this is free for downloading just click on the link in the video description where it says uh, talks about the Dropbox videos that you can this one's called hide rows if date is older than three weeks thanks for watching God bless.